With sensors connected to Pulse and detection services running, the next step is to establish your network baseline, defining policies and identifying your own networks and assets in order to focus Pulse's threat and alerting engine. The first step in establishing your baseline is to define access point policies. This is done by selecting access point policies from the upper toolbar and creating a new policy. Enter the name for the policy, in this case my Pony Corporate policy, select the corporate status of the network, corporate, and following the wizard. Enter the ESS ID of the network, the expected encryption type, authentication mechanism, and vendor associated with the hardware on your network. Click Submit and see a list of matches for review. You can approve one at a time, or you can approve all matches at once. Continue by adding additional policies for each of your guest networks and corporate networks in your enterprise. Pulse will now identify devices authenticating to your corporate network as corporate devices and track subsequent connections in order to identify risky behavior. The next step in establishing your baseline is the tagging of trust levels of individual assets. This can be done by connecting directly to your Active Directory server if available, providing a bulk import list, or manually setting the trust levels in Pulse. Newly discovered assets, including network hosts, access points, wireless clients, and Bluetooth devices, are automatically tagged as unknown upon discovery and may be updated to indicate known good, suspicious, known bad, or acceptable. To set a trust level manually for a discovered asset, navigate to the Asset Views from the Assets tab on the left-hand toolbar, select the appropriate type of asset, in this case, Network Hosts, and select from the drop-down to choose your trust level. You can select and change the trust level of multiple assets at a time or bulk change through the list. Additionally, for an individual asset, host names will be automatically discovered from a local DNS server and friendly names can be annotated to indicate the usage or additional information of that particular host. Pulse's Threat and Alerting Engine will track the behavior and connections associated with these devices based on the trust levels and use both custom and pre-built rules to identify risks. For instance, alerting when an unknown or known bad asset connects to your network. To automate trust level tagging, a sensor can be connected to your Active Directory server to which it has network access. This is done from the Sensor's Services page, selecting a sensor, selecting services, and selecting Active Directory Pulse integration. Configure information associated with your Active Directory server, save, and start the service. You can find more information about configuring Active Directory integration, which will automatically update the trust levels associated with hosts discovered in Pulse that correlate to systems in your Active Directory server. You can find more information from the user manual which is available at the Help tab on each Pulse page. Following these steps, Pulse will continue to establish the baseline of your own networks and systems in order to reduce risk by identifying threats from malicious, misconfigured, and unauthorized devices.